They're ready. Okay, Set for the Belgravia please. Stakes. Please. Well done with the journey. Gates open. Racing. Gemma's son wasted no time. Got out of the gates very quickly. Watch me dance. Also jumps smoothly. In fact, she's driving through. She'll hold Gemma's son in the early part. Real Grace kicks up. Driving forward now, but wide is Empire Rain just after the start from the stable mate, who's just tucked away behind them, getting ahead into the air for a stride or so. Queen Brown. Outside of those getting going is Mystical View. They're followed further back on the inside by Dark Assault. Then came Rain of Fire, Snickerdoodle Dandy and the tail ender is Magical Dream in the Belgravia at the 550 and the leader is Watch Me Dance kicks about a length and a half Gemma's son three quarters of a length away then is Empire Rain Real Grace squeezing up near the inside to be about third coming into the home straight right behind those then Queen Brown searching for an opening to get clear and now to the outside running on his mystical view down past the 250 Watch Me Dance still the leader by a length and a half to Gemma's son flat to the floorboards but here comes Mystical View down the outside and look at Magical Dream finishing brilliantly. Magical Dream right over the top, grab them. Magical Dream has got home to score, coming with a brilliant finishing run. Magical Dream too good from a photo finish for the minor placings. Gemma's son came again. Also close up there towards the inside is Queen Brown and uh, Watch Me Dance. And not far away from those either is... Uh, Mystical View, Real Grace, all in a group of horses together. Snickerdoodle Dandy, Rain of Fire, and a gap back behind those when they pulled up to Empire Rain. Amongst the last is Dark Assault. Magical Dream has continued. A remarkable run for Grant and Alana Williams, Peter's Investments, here in this Belgravia Stakes. Super finishing burst by this filly who won a class one at Northam, parked out the back, and she has gobbled them up. And so Grant Williams has now trained six of the past eight winners of this race, either by himself or as a partnership with his wife, Alana. It's quite phenomenal, along with Peter's investments, who have raced them all. And this dream ahead filly is coming from the back of the field at odds, storming home, beats 10 mystical view, Clint Johnston Porter, and three, watch me dance, clings on for third. S nine, 10, three, Gemma's son holding fourth in that photo. A length and a quarter by a nose were margins. They were queuing up, and 1.10.83 is the time well outside the record. Magical dream by Dream Ahead from Mystic Hour, a daughter of Redoute's Choice, Jade McNaught winning her first Belgravia Stakes and finishing with a wet sail down the outside. Coming, of course, there with Mystical View, the stable mate by Canford Cliffs out of Mystical Miss. Clint Johnston Porter. And there in third, Money Watch Me Dance, the I'm All the Talk Coventry to Rio Philly, Steve Wolf and Sean McGruddy. Super finish. Watch Me Dance, markedly improved run at her first outing back since being put back on the back burner. But, gee, the finishing burst of Magical Dream from virtually last, gobbling them up and recording a very soft victory as it turned out to be home in 34.55, one and a quarter and a nose. So uh, a super finishing burst by this winner, Magical Dream, having only her third lifetime start. And uh, she's got the, uh, the record of uh, three for three. Outstanding performance. Race eight, the Amelia Park handicap at 4.10 here this afternoon is clear of any changes. Let's go to Brittany. She's in the winner's enclosure. And uh, Bob didn't get to have uh, a win in the Cox Plate today, but his mare ran so bravely. But no doubt impressed with what he has just seen here in the Belgravia Stakes. That is for sure, Darren, a, a lovely consolation to take out the Belgravia Stakes in a race that he has such a wonderful record in, Bob. Does it, do you reflect on that, your wonderful record in this race? Oh, it's a nice race. We target it every year and we usually have, uh, you know, a few runners or a couple of runners in it. So it's nice to um, think that they're coming along and doing something for us. You had three in today. You've quinelled it. How did you separate the three coming into the race? Were you sure about how much ability there was between them? No, I couldn't pick between them. Um, Sandra asked me this morning. She wanted to have a $10 each way and I said, I, 
I can't tell you. Now, did she pick a number? Did she end up making a choice? I don't know what she did in the end. I kept out. We'll have to find Sandra and find out if she's picked the winner here. What did you make of the performance today? Oh, it was the one on the outside was very good, wasn't she? Um, I was very proud of her and the other one fought on well. I don't know what happened to the one on the fence because most people thought she was the best. What are your long range forecasts for them for the spring summer carnival? Oh, they just go through as they normally do each year and uh, the next start will be the Burgess Queen and then hopefully something will put its hand up to go a bit further. And a comment on the Cox Plate earlier today and how brave Arcadia Queen was after nearly falling? Uh, I'd rather not comment on that. I know, uh, you know, the last really big race she was in, she went down and, uh, and then she tries so hard afterwards that you don't know what she's doing to herself. So until uh, tomorrow or Monday, I won't really know. We'll all have a, our fingers crossed. Well done on the Belgravia. Thank you. Bob Peters there after their victory. And Jade McNaught, she was flying home down the outside and she takes out the feature. Oh, she's just flying in general, Jade McNaught, at the moment. Jade, one ten eighty three. They didn't set any records there. What was the speed like mid-race? Yeah, I thought it was only only moderate. Um, my horse settled beautiful. Probably could have been a pair closer, but I didn't want to hustle her. She's a bit green still, so I just dropped her out of the speed. Got a pretty good track into the race. I didn't really want to go around them all, but she was feeling pretty good underneath me. I'm glad I did because it kept her out of trouble and she stormed home. Still does a little bit wrong in the run too. Looks like there's more improvement, which is scary. Yeah, definitely. Just greenness. When she loses the horses around her, she sort of lays in and out, but nothing bad. She's just she goes probably too quick for her legs at the moment. How good is it to pick up a ride for the Cerise and White? Yeah, it's nice riding in these colours. The horse took me around. It made it very easy for me. Congratulations, Jay. Well done. Thanks, Scotty. A brilliant record in this race. Bob Peters has and Grant Nalana as well. Magical Dream takes it out. Quinella in the race with Mystical View. And it is Watch Me Dance who gets the nod for third. Nine, ten, three and one. The numbers out of the 2020 Belgravia Stakes.